You know, there's a lot of bands that come and go, they have one hit and that's it, but that is not Bon Jovi. In about 20 years, their music careers continued to get stronger and stronger. From 1984 to 2001, they played in 47 countries. Throughout their career, they've sold almost 100 million albums. In fact, from 1984 to 2001, they did 2,000 live shows and performed for 31 million people. And if you have ever seen Bon Jovi live, then you know exactly why. Well, if you have not been able to get a ticket to their sold out Bounce concert tour, as it has been sold out for quite some time, this is the only venue in the entire United States where you're gonna get to see part of that tour live on camera tonight in part of three shows with QVC. My name is Lisa Robertson, and I'm gonna be interviewing Bon Jovi in the next little bit. Jackie Gonzalez is standing by, and she's gonna be joining you along with our expert. And we have so many great ideas coming up for you in this evening. You are actually going to get to possibly talk to the band live, see part of the concert, and have a chance to actually have a sit-down chat with Bon Jovi and all four members of the band. Jackie Gonzalez is Let standing by. Let me welcome by in to QVC, Lon Friend. Hi, Lon, uh, how are you? this band particularly, I guess you'd call me, to use wartime vernacular, the embedded journalist with Bon Jovi. He truly is. He's been with Bon Jovi since when, 1987? 87, 87. 88, yeah. Traveling around the world with Bon Jovi, being there yeah. with them, every time that they've gone on tour, they're always there for their good friend Lon. Whenever you need that scoop as far as going and writing about him. You've got the whole backside uh, scene for it, don't you? Yeah, your energy level is quite intimidating, <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> so I don't think they have so, one Lon. hit, they disappear. No, no, right. What Bon Jovi's been about is, is not creating music for the marketplace, but creating music for their self-expression and for their fans. And they haven't been attached to fads. Right. They just went along with where they were going as artists. And now their music has evolved into this eighth studio album, which is Bounce, which was released last October here in the United States. And we're bringing you a combination, not only of the CD, but your choice of the DVD or VHS, which was made especially for QVC with 12 videos that are put together with video footage that came from the Bounce tour, which has been sold out across the United States. They're wrapping up their US tour right now. They're wrapping up their US tour, then they go to Europe. And it's wow. the sickest thing, because I've been to Europe. We're talking 50 thousand minimum a night in Europe where the skies open at every show and it's just truly extraordinary how large the Bon Jovi machine really is. And just really wait is. until you see what it's going to look like here in San Jose tonight as, as we're ready to go. Lon Friend, who is with me upstairs in the booth right now, Lon has been traveling on the private jet with Bon Jovi, yeah. you know, but Lon is, is the one to be able to do that. It's a rad plane, too, that <laughs> these two chicks that are really hot that work on the plane. They bring okay, you we, food we and all kinds we of cool stuff. We don't tell them about the hot chicks on the plane, okay? Why? I got hot chicks <laughs> here with me. Why do you think I'm here? I'm yeah. seeing a Bon Jovi well, show and I got hot chicks. Just to let you know, we've already sold about 5,000 of our combination of our limited tour edition of the CD and the DVD or VHS. It's going to be your choice. And now Lisa Robertson, we're going to throw down to Lisa down at the stage. And I think she's got a couple of special guests. Lisa? Okay, special would be the understatement of the millennium. But that's, <laughs> that's quite all right. Uh, we have with us John Bon Jovi. Yeah. Great seeing you. Thank you. Tico Torres, thank you. how are you? Very good, thank you. Can I tell you how jealous every person I know is that I get to stand here with you guys? <laughs> <laughs> and Being together. No. Right. And, uh, and we put on one heck of a show. I mean, it's the number one tour on the road right now. It's, they were saying upstairs, it's sold out coast to coast. And yeah. it's just been fantastic. This has been a great arena for us. And I'm very um, superstitious when it comes to that. I think about when I was here last. and. We had a great show here last time around, so I know you know it already feels good to me. And of course, I, I heard that you consider mm -hmm. it maybe not quite as successful if you wanted, if the audience is not as exhausted as you are when you guys <laughs> leave the stage. They work harder than we do. We kind of look up, and our gauge is even at the top. They're standing up, and they stand up all night, and they clap, and they sing. It's a revival meeting. Yeah, <laughs> it really is. If somebody told me once that you guys had rediscovered the religion of rock and roll. What do you think <laughs> they meant by that? Well, you know, I think there is a real connection. People wonder how do you sustain a career for 20 years and be relevant. It's not nostalgia. Right. It's not based on fads or fashions. We're not chasing anybody. And it's that connection between us and the audience. And as I said, now that we're hitting another generation, quite by accident, mm -hmm. um, the music has transcended any boundaries. And, and you'll see people out here that were with us in the beginning. You'll see people that will bring their kids and they'll have that in common. It's, it's similar to being 
like the Rolling Stones. You know, you, you can. I still like something that you. Yeah. It's good to have the backup. Okay, true. the next phone call. Okay, we're gonna try Boom. Michelle from Boom. Louisiana. <laughs> Michelle, say hi to Richie and David. Hi, Richie. Hi, David. Hey, this is here. the voice yeah. of Louisiana. <laughs> we hear you. All right. Come in Houston. Hey. <laughs> How you doing? What do you got I'm to say for yourself? Great. How are you guys? We're great. Could I or should I apologize for sleeping on the couch last night? Stayed up too late with all my friends. Found the best out in the yard, and then he died. I tried to strip the truth, but didn't lie. 